very much, Secretary LaRose. Secretary Werner, you're now recognized for five minutes. Today, September 11th, is the anniversary of one of America's worst days. Secretary Warner, your, your microphone may not be on. We can hear you, but I know those listening at home may not. Thank you. Along with many others, I served this country to protect our Constitution and did so expecting to fight foreign enemies. 23 years later, none of us expected to have to protect, our own, uh, protect against our own domestic three-lettered agencies. The worst election interference in American history was done in 2020 by 51 so-called intelligence experts who conducted a psychological operation against America to cause us to believe that the Hunter Biden laptop was Russian disinformation. It was a lie, and they knew it was a lie. Former CIA Deputy Director Mike Morell admitted under oath that he organized the letter to help Biden and to hurt Trump. The signers wanted to give Biden a talking point, and Biden cited that letter in his debate with Trump shortly before the 2020 election. Some signers were on CIA payroll as contractors, and a number used their CIA credentials in their signature blocks. Today's hearing is about restoring election confidence, and the first step to solving a problem is to admit there is one. A number of U.S. government institutions need to publicly admit the enormity of improperly influencing a presidential election before confidence can be restored. Repeatedly, I have asked the FBI, NAS, and CISA officials to publicly acknowledge the insidious actions, but to date, they have refused. The 51 should apologize for lying, for illegally conducting a PSYOP inside the United States, and indelibly tarnishing the CIA's reputation. Their security clearances should be pulled, and they should never hold a position in government again. Then, shame on the FBI for not timely exposing the lie, and then telling social media to suppress the story. Mark Zuckerberg now admits that he shouldn't have listened to the FBI, but he also interfered with the election by laundering four, nearly 400 million Zuck bucks through local entities and using algorithms that favored one side over the other. Until these agencies acknowledge culpability, their actions are purposeful diversions that continue to erode confidence in our elections. Votes outside the law, that is, votes that enter the system through methods not approved by a state legislature, are what Americans should be discussing. Examples include ballots that arrive three days after polls close, that arrive via unauthorized harvesting, harvesting, they are dumped uh, in unauthorized and unsupervised drop boxes that are cured without authorization, and absentee ballots without addresses, dates, or signatures. Election officials who misuse their authority and allow votes outside the law should be held accountable and removed from office. We should develop remedies to votes outside the law. First, who should be punished, the voter by not counting their vote, or election officials and canvassers who allow and count the votes? And then second, what should be the remedy, a civil fine or a criminal indictment? Rather than tackling these tough issues, these agencies divert attention by holding worthless briefings, out-of-date tabletop exercises, advocating voting by mail, hyping domestic terrorism, and overplaying threats to election officials. National election confidence can be improved by doing what West Virginia has done, clean voter registration lists. We have removed 400,000 names and in uh, put on 350,000 live voters. Implement voter ID, cross-reference citizenship data with DMV, require approved reasons for, for voting absentee. Look for and pursue election fraud. West Virginia has pioneered see something, text something, making every citizen with an iPhone an extension of our investigation team. We don't vote by mail, we don't use drop boxes, and we don't accept votes outside the law, and we don't harvest ballots illegally. Simply put, we obey election law. When one state doesn't obey its own laws, other states should have standing to bring suit and require only legal ballots by legal voters be counted. What happens in one state affects all states when electors are sent to the Electoral College. Meanwhile, West Virginia has called on President Biden to rescind EO 14019, and I have repeatedly called for repeal of the NVRA. More common sense. Disallow election-related ephemeral messaging by social media and when their algorithms favor one candidate over another, that should trigger reporting of a contribution in kind. Don't let consent decrees override state election law, require pr proof of citizenship, and pass the SAVE Act. Just as we have restored voter confidence in West Virginia, we can do so nationally by injecting common sense into election integrity. 
Thank you for letting me testify on West Virginia's successes, and I stand ready for your questions. Thank you, Secretary Warner. Uh, Secretary Toulouse-Oliver, you are now recognized for five